Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here to do another tag video. I wasn't tagged myself, I just saw this tag and liked it and so decided that I wasn't going to wait until I was tagged and that I was just going to do it. And this tag is called the Anti Lux Tag and it was started by a luxury YouTuber called Ava in the City who is British. And I started watching her after another tag that she started called, I think it was uh, favorite pre-loved items or luxury items that I got pre-loved, something like that. And she started that tag in response to some really nasty comments another luxury YouTuber was getting because she chose to purchase some of her luxury items pre-loved. And apparently the comments were really nasty. I didn't see either that video nor did I read the comments. But I was so struck by the fact that Ava, in response to that nastiness, chose to create this tag supporting her friend that I just had to follow her. And I've really enjoyed her videos. I like her attitude. I like her travel. I like uh, listening to her talk about bag. She's very knowledgeable in that area. So I am really looking forward to do this tag. The premise of this video is to talk about very inexpensive items or I suppose relatively inexpensive items in your wardrobe um, that you just absolutely love. So if you are interested in hearing what those things are, then stick around. So I'm gonna start with clothes and I don't think I'm gonna do a try on because I'm filming multiple videos today and um, it will just take too much time. So I will try to find photos and if I don't have any, I'll put stock photos up, but the first item I have spoken about ad nauseum on this channel, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, um, but they are these, if you've seen my videos, you already know, these pleated pants from H&M that I paid maybe $20, $21 for, and then I bought a second pair for $14.99. These things are so comfortable and they can be worn with so many different things, and I just love them. So this is the first item. The second item is a cardigan and it is absolutely my, fa I'm pretty sure it's my favorite cardigan in my entire wardrobe. And it is this, that's going to be really hard to show. So I will definitely try to find a picture, but it's this mustard color, really slouchy drop shoulder um, cardigan from Urban Outfitters. This is from the BDG line. I my favorite two are this one and the one in black. My sister has stolen the one that I had in black, so, um, but it, it's such a great sweater. I love the way it fits. It's just the right amount of warmth for a cool evening. I think it's really beautiful. I just love this thing. And um, I will, I can't remember the original price of this because I bought this original price, but I loved it so much that I went back to buy different colors and when I went back to, they were all on sale for something like, I mean, maybe 18 to $20, really relatively inexpensive for something that's so wonderful. The cost per wear of this sweater, pennies on the dollar. I wear this thing all the time. Come fall, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this sweater. Um, so yeah, this is the second item. The third clothing item is actually newer, but I, have already worn it to death. And it is this ombre striped oversized boyfriend shirt um, that is from the Massimo line at Target. This sucker is the jump off. I love this shirt. It is so comfortable. It's really soft. Um, I, I just love the way it hangs. It's such a great sweater and I love this ombre details. So it's something that's a little bit more interesting than just a stripe, even though I love a good stripe. I just love how that fades to a lighter color. Um, this is I, this is probably, I think I've had this for maybe two weeks. Uh, so this is most certainly available. So I'll link this below. This is an awesome, awesome shirt. So the last clothing item is a pair of jeans and they are these high-waisted dark wash skinny jeans um, by BDG, the BDG line from Urban Outfitters, and I've talked about them before. Um, I'll try to find a picture. They're 
just an awesome jean. They are high stretch, but they're thick. They're a jean. They're not a jegging. They're a jean. I love these. These are how I discovered that high-waisted jeans are what is best for my body type because the waist is smaller in proportion to the hips and the thighs, and that's how my body is shaped. And so I don't get that dag-nabbed gap in the back. I love the way these fit, uh, they're, and they're so comfortable. And um, I tend to stock up on these when Urban Outfitters ha puts the BDG line on sale and you can get the jeans for 39 bucks, 36 or 30, I think it's $39. I, I stock up and they last a long time. I've gone through so many of these jeans. I just haven't found any that I love as much as these. So next are shoes and the first shoes are a pair of boots. And well actually there are two pairs of boots but they're the same and they're these two boots. These are the Jagger Booty, let's see, the Jagger Booty by Jeffrey Campbell for free people. And I got this one first, this gorgeous, even just looking at it, I cannot wait to wear these again. Gorgeous pink color, and I loved it so much, and they're so comfortable that I got the white ones. And I got this one full price, and then this one was marked down quite a bit when I got it. Um, it was on sale, I just loved it. These I got in white to satisfy my cravings for a um, pair of Chloe Susanna boots in the white with silver hardware. Oh, I am dying for those. But I love the way these look. Even if and when I get those boots, I will still keep these. I love these. So really comfortable, great priced, high style. Love these. The next shoes are from Old Navy. And I got these when I saw these gorgeous gold loafers that J. Crew had released. And there were all of these dupes, but those were stunning, stunning shoes. But at the time they were, I think $398, so they were about $400. And I just wasn't sure that I would wear them enough to justify that. So I started hunting around and there were actually a lot of dupes, but none that I really liked on my foot. And then I was in Old Navy and I was in the sales section and happened upon these lovelies right here. These, they are very well worn, as you can see. I love these. When I first got them, I mean, it was at least four times a week I was wearing these shoes and not a spring or a fall goes by without me wearing these since I've gotten them. I love them. I've had these probably for, I mean, at least two, maybe even, I think it's longer, I think three years, and they've held up really, really nicely. They were $10. They were on sale for $9.99. I don't remember what the original price was, but $9.99. I just love them. The next shoe are definitely Man Repeller, but they are one of my favorite boots in my entire wardrobe and they are by Clarks. And they are these well-worn, distressed black, I don't, these aren't really, what you call these combat boots? No, these are more like um, Chukka, Chukka or Chuka, I don't know how you pronounce them. Booties, I love these. I wear these with jeans, with dresses, with skirts, I just, you know, I love the juxtaposition of a really nice or really pretty dress. And these boots makes me so happy. I love it. <laughs> so these are awesome. I can't remember how much they were, but just even full price. Clarks don't tend to be as expensive as other boots of this style. So yeah, these are awesome. And I've had these for, I mean, I, I can't, I wish I had any concept of time. Years, probably at least five years. And they just don't die. I've been caught out in the rain in them. I've hiked in them. I, I don't know. They're just awesome. And then the last shoe, they're also boots, probably top five in my entire wardrobe. Of all of the shoes that I have, these are probably in the top five. I love these. And they are from Zara, and they are these gold booties. Uh, I just love them. Look at them. Oh my gosh. 
I love these boots and I'm so panicked. I mean, to talk, to cost, to talk about how often I have worn these, I mean, they're, I, I'm surprised that they're not falling apart. They're really well made. You know, they're scratched up and you can tell, you know, at, at closer glance, you can tell they're beat up, but they have held up so nicely. I am so panicked about not having these in my life. And I have been on the lookout for this exact boot. Um, it's of course not on Zara anymore. And so I've been looking online. I've seen new ones pop up on eBay, um, but not in my size. I'm probably going to buy another one of these because I, the novelty has not worn off. And I got these when they were on sale and they could not have been more than maybe 40, like $39.99 or something like that. I love these. I've seen other more expensive gold boots and I just don't like them as much. I did see a pair of men's YSL gold boots yesterday that were stunning. They, those were hot, um, but those are $995. $39.95, worn them to death, love them to death. Awesome. Being a bag lover, this video would not be complete without including some. And the first bag I want to talk about is this corduroy clutch that I've had for many years, probably 15, from Diesel. And it's a wood top, corduroy bottom, and I just love the way it opens. So cool, I love this. Um, like I said, I've had this for a really long time. This is one of those things that I don't use very often anymore because I don't have occasion to, but I love it so much and I just think it's so cool. And at this point it has a lot of sentimental value uh, tied to my going out days that I will never get rid of this thing. I just think it's really cool. I mean, I do use it every once in a while. I just love how it opens. So, and. I don't remember how much this cost being so long ago, but I remember I got it on sale and um, I do remember being surprised by how affordable it was. So yeah, this is one of my absolute favorite cheap and cheerful buys. The next is a bag that almost looks vintage. It's vintage inspired and I got it at a sidewalk sale a long time ago. A lot of what I'm showing you I've had for years and years. It just goes to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get good quality items. This I've had for, let's see, I'm thinking about where I was living at the time. So at least 15 years ago and it's still going strong anyway. And it's this bag. Oh, isn't this so cute? It's so cute. It's this velvet because I love velvet. Um, it's not a trend for me. It's a staple. It's this velvet tartan bag with a kiss lock. Oh, oops with the kiss lock, you can see it's, it is falling apart because I've had it for so long and I've used it so often. Um, and it's leather on the sides and leather on the bottom and then a leather strap. Um, and it's a shoulder bag and it sits quite comfortably under the arm. I love this thing. I, just, I think it's so beautiful. And I remember it was marked down and marked down and marked down again. And, um, you know, it's one of those sidewalk clearance sales. And I just love this thing. I've taken this with me wherever I have moved. And this is another bag that I don't think I will ever get rid of. The backpack trend was huge and still is. And I wanted to give it a go without spending a lot of money because I wasn't sure whether a backpack would fit into my life. And so I got this really inexpensive bag from Zara. And I've talked about this bag before. I really liked it. The, I liked the smooth lines. I liked its simplicity. I liked the gold hardware on black. It's faux leather, so it's really hard wearing. I can take this out in the rain without worry. Um, and it fits a truckload of stuff. What I found by owning this bag is that though I really enjoy carrying this and I use this quite a lot, I am not much of a backpack person. I don't tend to wear this on my back because I am nervous about what's going on behind me. I tend to wear it on my shoulder so it's more of a shoulder bag. Um, and since my favorite way to wear any bag is crossbody, it didn't make sense to me to buy um, a backpack, a more expensive backpack. Although I know that some of them you can kind of hook, you can hook them in the straps in different ways to make them crossbody, but that just seemed like too much bother. 
So even though it turns out that I'm not much of a backpack person, I really like this one. So I'm gonna continue to keep this and use this. I think I paid maybe 25 bucks for this thing and it's been really handy and useful. So that was a good buy. And the last bag I have to talk about is this gorgeousness that I've mentioned on my channel before. It's this gold mini bucket bag from J. Crew. I got this on mega sale. I believe I paid $25 for this. Originally it was around 100 or maybe a little maybe 120 or something like that. And I paid 25, 24.99. And I this is one of my most absolute most used bags. You can fit a lot into it. It's really comfortable to wear. It has a nice strap that can be worn crossbody. Love this thing. I like the the tassel drawstring here and you know carrying bucket bags don't worry me because look how tightly you can draw that closed. So I don't worry about the security of carrying a bucket bag. This is one of my top five bags in my whole wardrobe. I wanted to mention some accessories that I really enjoy and the first one is this straw hat that I got at a little haberdashery in town. This hat is by Scala. Let's see if you can read that. And uh, what I love about this hat, number one, is that it fits my big head and all my hair. And number two, it's really lightweight and comfortable. There are a lot of really beautiful straw and wool hats on the market that are really, really expensive. And I think this does a beautiful job. I've traveled with it. You know, I've packed it in a suitcase and it just always comes out looking so great. This I paid $20 for. This is what it, I don't want to take my scarf off, but this is to give you an idea what it looks like on. I just love this thing. I wear this a lot in the summer and if I'm going to a sunny climb on vacation, I will take this with me. It's a great, great buy. The next thing I want to talk about are guitar straps and who it was Fendi. Fendi is what at least for me brought this to the forefront and um, ever since then I think everybody has been guitar strap crazy and I love guitar straps because it gives you the ability to convert a bag that may just be a shoulder bag into a crossbody bag and for me that is awesome in fact one of my favorite bags in my collection that I'd wanted for years and didn't get because it could only be worn as a shoulder I was able to get when I got these guitar straps and um, I was not willing to pay I mean I think some of those Fendi guitar straps or back straps are going for close to two grand and I just can't do it. I have two and these are both by Rebecca Minkoff. I have this black studded one that I just love with silver hardware and then I have this embroidered black embroidered one that I just think is really beautiful too. So pretty. There is a guitar strap by Alexander Wang that I have, I mean, probably for about a year and a half, I have loved. And I saw that it went on sale a couple of months ago, but I still didn't jump because even the sale price was still maybe almost $300 or something like that. And I just, I just couldn't justify it. And these are wonderful. Uh, you know, they work really well and they often go on sale. That's the other thing too. I think these retail are in the neighborhood of 95 to 120 and when they go on sale like I've seen new ones for as low as 50 new Rebecca Minkoff ones so I think that these are a spectacular alternative to really expensive guitar straps next are sunglasses and I have two pairs that I really really love and the first pair are by Spitfire, which I believe is a British company, and I call these my trucker sunglasses. This is what they look like from the side. They, they're just, they're really simple. They're black with gold hardware, but I just love how thick they are. I love how thick the frame is. I love how thick the arm is. I just, I love how thick the nose piece is. It's just so cool. This is what they look like on. I don't know why I think of a trucker. <laughs> I don't know if truckers wear sunglasses like these, but they're kind of cool. I think truckers are kind of cool. So 
I call them my trucker sunglasses. I paid 30, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to $35 for these. And they work so well. They're comfortable. I love these. And then the second pair are even less expensive. I got these, let me just show them to you. They're these beautiful 70s inspired sunglasses. And look at them from the side. I just love that. They're so cool. And this is actually a replacement pair. I had a pair of these um, that I bought because I'd forgotten my sunglasses. I just ran into a boutique, saw these and grabbed them. And then I, I had them for a year and then I sat on them one day and I was so distressed that I actually went back to the same boutique and rebought them. This time they were $12, and but I just love them. And this is what these look like on. I just think they're so cool. Oh, it's kind of fitting with my the 70s vibe of my scarf and my earrings. Yeah, I love these. And then last but not least are brooches and pins, which I have mentioned my love for before on this channel. I will often seek them out in thrift stores, vintage stores. If I happen to be at a garage sale or estate sales, I will always look for brooches because you can find some amazing brooches in thrift stores and vintage stores. Um, and some of them I've bought new, <laughs> but um, here, let me just show you. So this one, this is one, oh, I'm not gonna remember where I got this. I, This one I actually think, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I got this a long time ago at maybe Forever 21. I can't remember, I, I do remember that it was inexpensive. This one I think was a new one that I got from Forever 21, but I've had it for years, years and years. And then this one, which is one of my absolute favorites, this star-shaped one with all of these crystals. Look at that shine. This one I got at a thrift store um, and it was, I think it was $7. Like it, was it seven or $16? I can't remember. It was less than 20 for sure. I pretty sure, because I remember it was on sale. Um, so it was really, really inexpensive. And just look how beautiful it is. If this was in a Chanel store, if this was a Chanel brooch, even though it's not real um, diamonds and pearls, this sucker would be close to a thousand dollars. And I'm pretty sure I paid something like six dollars for this. It's beautiful. And then this is one of my favorite pins. I got one for my sister too. And can you read it? It says, it says bye Felicia. I just love I just love the, you know, it's, I, th I don't know if this is supposed to be RuPaul, but I just love this beautiful drag queen with her gorgeous green um, eyeshadow and red lip and, and a pink, what is this called? Is this a pompadour? Yeah, pink pompadour hairdo. <laughs> it's just so cool. This pin just has so much attitude. And this was somewhere around the neighborhood of 20 bucks. Uh, and I will include links to whatever I can find below. I'm pretty sure this is still available, this enamel pin, um, but I don't know. It's just a really fun way to accessorize an outfit for not a lot of money. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I, you know, one of the things I really love about fashion is the ability to look good and feel good without having to spend a lot of money doing it. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with spending a lot of money on fashion. Heavens knows that I do. I definitely have my fair share of luxury items. But I just think it's more fun to think more about style and what fits more into your life than who designed it and what it costs. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really be interested in anybody else's favorite cheap and cheerful items. I am going to tag some fellow YouTubers and I will list them down below if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. I don't know what number I'm at right now because I don't pay the closest attention. It's terrible, I guess, but um, I think I'll start paying closer attention as we inch towards 100. And if you are not subscribed, I do have a goal of reaching 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoyed watching this or you just like the cut of my jib, please subscribe. I would be really grateful and appreciative. Those are both kind of the same things, aren't they? 
any hoodle. Thank you for watching. I hope everybody's having a good night, and I will see you next time. Peace, Yens.